What would go through your mind if you saw a tourist scratching their initials into one of the columns of the Colosseum? You'd probably feel a wave of discomfort, maybe even anger. To deface a World Heritage Site that stood since ancient times? That's pure desecration, plain and simple. Now, how would you react if you saw someone spit into a crystal clear spring? And what if someone casually suggested turning a volcanic crater into a trash dump? How would that sit with you? Even if you didn't speak up out loud, you'd almost certainly feel a deep sense of disgust inside. Treating nature that way just doesn't sit right. It's impossible to call that ethical by any stretch. Hey there, everyone! Believe it or not, the idea of using volcanic craters for waste disposal actually comes up now and then among scientists and engineers. And it's not just idle talk or some far-off theory. In some cases, they actually go through with it. One recent example is an experiment that was carried out in Ethiopia. Welcome to our channel. All right, let's dive in. A Dangerous Experiment in Ethiopia The goal of this experiment wasn't to tackle the global crisis of waste management. It was actually much simpler to find out what would happen if a person accidentally fell into a lava lake inside the crater of a volcano. Scientists came up with two major possibilities to predict the outcome. The first scenario. If someone were wearing a specially designed protective suit, then maybe, just maybe, the test subject or an unlucky researcher could manage to walk on the surface of the lava lake for a short amount of time. The second scenario? The moment they touched the lava, they'd be instantly swallowed up and sink straight into it. Of course, no one had any intention of putting a real human life in danger for this. Thanks to previous tests, it had already been confirmed that flowing lava reaches temperatures of around 1800 degrees Fahrenheit and even the surface of the lava lake sits at a scorching 1100 degrees. So instead of using a person, the team dropped a bag filled with garbage from a height of 260 feet directly into the crater. The experiment took place right on the edge of the crater of Ethiopia's Erta Ale volcano. At the bottom of this active volcano's crater, even during calm periods, there lies a lava lake that spans roughly 6,500 square feet with surface temperatures reaching up to 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's the kind of scene you might describe as a cute little lake from hell. The entire experiment was carefully captured on video from start to finish. But what happened the moment the trash bag touched the lava caught the research team completely off guard. Instead of bursting into flames and burning up on the surface, the bag actually sank right into the searing lava below. And right after that, the scientists watching nearby wasted no time and quickly scrambled away from the edge of the crater. Because out of nowhere, that quiet, calm lava lake suddenly started bubbling like crazy, shooting blazing hot lava more than a hundred feet into the air. The researchers were terrified that those deadly molten droplets might come raining down on top of them. Luckily, that didn't happen, and after a little while, the lava lake gradually settled back down into its peaceful, steady state. What on earth just happened? According to the scientists involved, the trash bag likely punched through a hardened surface layer of the lava lake and reached the blazing hot layer beneath, where temperatures soared between 1800 and 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. As a result, the moisture from the food waste inside the bag instantly vaporized. That sudden steam expansion caused a rapid spike in pressure within the lava itself. What happened next looked a lot like a geyser erupting from below. But unlike a geyser that shoots boiling water into the air, this one was violently churning with molten rock. Fortunately, or perhaps unfortunately, the amount of trash they dropped into the lava was actually pretty small. That's why there wasn't any noticeable increase in the release of toxic gases that are normally produced when plastics burn. Of course, if the scientists had known in advance that something like this might happen, they probably would have set up proper monitoring equipment. Still, you'd think they could have predicted that such rapid vaporization would cause the moisture to expand by thousands of times, potentially setting off a dangerous and uncontrollable chain reaction inside the lava. After all, lava isn't just some uniform liquid. It's a complex system with gas channels, variations in density, and porous structures made of different materials and minerals. 
Thankfully, the researchers didn't come away from this wanting to repeat the experiment on a larger scale. That's a relief, because some experts have warned that if they had dumped not just 66 pounds but several hundred pounds of garbage into Erta Ele's crater, it could have triggered a massive lava explosion or even a catastrophic eruption, sending clouds of deadly volcanic gas into the sky. Why burning trash in volcanoes is completely pointless First of all, as the experiment in Ethiopia clearly showed, burning trash in a volcano can lead to serious, unpredictable consequences that science still struggles to fully anticipate. Think about it. If just 60 pounds of garbage caused the lava lake to erupt like that, what would happen if we dumped tons or even hundreds of tons into it? Even on a small scale, doing something like that at a single volcano in Ethiopia could potentially trigger a full-blown eruption. Now, imagine this. What if we took thousands of tons of trash and hurled it into the fiery depths of all 1,500 active volcanoes around the world? Some scientists warned that if we ever tried such a thing, the consequences would be completely beyond prediction. Maybe we'd get off with a few scattered catastrophic eruptions in different regions. Or maybe it would be a global disaster so massive it threatens the future of humanity itself. Just picturing all 1,500 volcanoes erupting at the same time is absolutely terrifying. And anyone who's ever witnessed a volcanic eruption up close already knows just how horrifying it truly is. The scorching blast of that volcanic baptism still haunts the memories of those who managed to survive. Just look back at the tragedy of Pompeii in the autumn of 79 AD, when Mount Vesuvius buried the entire city under ash and pyroclastic flows, erasing it from the face of the earth. Or think of the eruption of Krakatoa from August 26th to 27th in 1883. That disaster claimed more than 36,000 lives. After that eruption, volcanic ash blanketed the Earth's atmosphere for several days. So now, let's suppose this idea goes forward. Let's say humanity actually decides to pursue this bold new method of waste disposal by using volcanoes. What would we need to make that a reality? First off, we'd have to transport trash to volcanoes all over the world, or at least to a significant number of them. And most volcanoes are located in remote, rugged regions that are often impossible to reach by car or even on foot in some cases. That means we'd have to build roads, lay down infrastructure, and basically create entire support systems from scratch. On top of that, to haul millions of tons of garbage, we'd need millions of tons of fuel just for the transport trucks alone. But wait a second. Why are we suddenly talking in terms of millions of tons? The truth is, even that number barely scratches the surface. According to the United Nations Environment Program, humanity gifts our planet around 2.24 billion tons of household solid waste every single year. And about one-third of that isn't even processed, it just gets tossed away as is. If all that waste were at least dumped into proper landfills, that would be something. But in reality, even the most hazardous radioactive and toxic waste often ends up dumped into the ocean, leaving a dangerous legacy for future generations. Just think about the number of discarded plastic bottles floating for hundreds of miles along the coasts of African nations. Gigantic trash islands, spanning thousands of square miles, are still forming in oceans around the world right now. And the amount of waste just keeps on growing, with no signs of slowing down. In fact, the UN estimates that by the year 2050, global trash output will reach a staggering 3.4 billion tons per year. Compared to that towering Mount Everest of garbage, the surface area of a lava lake is practically nothing. Even if we ignored the risk of self-destruction and brushed aside the economic costs, we'd still need a lava capacity a thousand times larger than what all 1,500 active volcanoes on Earth could ever hold just to burn that much trash. And now, we come to the biggest reason why burning waste in volcanoes is utterly pointless. Volcanoes were never meant to be industrial incinerators. Unlike modern waste treatment facilities, a volcanic crater can't completely incinerate many materials, especially plastics. There's no system in place to filter or neutralize toxic gases, and there's absolutely no way to control or manage temperature, pressure, or leftover chemical residues. Modern Waste Management Technology 
the buildup of waste generated by human economic activity has become one of the most pressing issues of the 21st century. That's why smart and efficient waste disposal is now a top priority that demands immediate action. Leading the charge in tackling this problem are developed nations like Japan, the United States, and countries throughout the European Union. In these regions, thousands of high-temperature incineration facilities are in operation, burning household waste at around 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. And these facilities do far more than just burn trash. They recover electricity and thermal energy, capture and filter harmful gases, and even repurpose incinerated ash into building materials and other industrial products, all through an integrated process. In addition to incineration, there's been rapid progress in sorting, recycling, and reusing waste in recent years. For example, plastics are being transformed into clothing and packaging. Paper is turned into construction materials. Glass is remade into new glass products. And scrap metal is refined into fresh metal goods. When you look at it this way, modern waste management experts might see volcanoes as nothing more than useless giant chimneys that do nothing but pollute the air and poison the land. Still, many scientists would probably disagree with such a one-sided view. To them, volcanoes are like Earth's natural laboratories, places where you can study and observe all kinds of natural phenomena, from geology and chemistry to physics. Using such a powerful and complex force of nature for waste disposal is not only dangerous, but also wildly inefficient and economically pointless. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, and feel free to repost it on social media too. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, see you soon and goodbye.